so much, Joan, for um, talking to us today. Thanks for having me. You're an accomplished actor and singer, um, but then you're also devoting your time at home, not just to be a mom, but also to be teacher to your son. But now it's even more timely because we're hearing the keywords homeschooling and distance learning. Mm -hmm. Let's first define the terms. Distance learning is mostly plugged into a school. Right. The teachers, right now what's happening is the teachers give the parents instructions on what to do, manuals of the breaking down of what needs to be done during the day. Parent, teacher, students, they meet right. in, um, through Zoom, uh, Skype, or right. whatever virtual thing is available. When you say homeschooling, and we go to a homeschooling convention every year since my son was four years old, when you're around homeschool parents, they're really, and I, I don't say that regular uh, kids who go to regular school, the parents are not involved. Of course they are. But homeschool parents are just a different breed. It's like, okay, what's the, uh, it, they're after the character of the child. How does the child learn uh, how to deal with bullying when it happens? I think more and more parents now especially are appreciating how much work goes into homeschooling your own children. How did you get to that decision? Well, when I first heard about it, I was pregnant and some a, a mom, like it was actually a couple giving a speech somewhere about like they just kind of like said oh yeah we're homeschooling four kids in my head I was like my gosh that sounds so ancient right that's what they did back then you know like it's, it's like so foreign to me yeah. I didn't do anything until my son was born and then we met a friend of ours we visited them in um Maryland and again their situation was they just moved to Maryland they the school was really far from where they were. The wife was a homeschool, uh, was a, a school teacher actually, elementary school teacher. She gave that up to homeschool three kids, mm -hmm. and um, and I just wanted to ask them about what curriculum they use. We and here's the part that really where it's doable for me. Um, First, let me, let me share with you the different types of homeschooling. Right, because so there's different methods, yes. Yes, you would not believe. It's, it's really catered to what your child's needs are. It's not just, here's a cookie cutter. I just want you to, <laughs> all that. And just, right, science, math, reading, and whatnot, yeah. right? Okay. What we're doing is traditional education, which actually is pretty much like in a classroom setting at home. Um, and then uh, we interact with each other. Uh, we have um, the curriculum that we picked, that mm -hmm. we feel is best for us, is uh, biblical-based. Okay. Um, and that was what our friend had. And her daughter was watching a, a video that there was a teacher on the video, and then there were students in the video. There were about, like, 15 to 20 students. I was like, what is that? I want to learn about it, you know? And her point was that she wants to be the on-site teacher to her kids, but at the same time, she wants to be able to do the chores at home and without the child miss, uh, missing a beat with like education or math. If they don't understand anything, they can go back to the, it was a video, a DVD. Right, right. I'm very interested, that, interested in that because as an actor, mm -hmm. sometimes I have to learn auditions, I have to learn stuff. I just need to be right next to my child know what he's doing and if he doesn't understand anything then we can always go back and he did not miss any lessons or anything i guess that's right because when you drop off your children at school you don't know what happens there right? yeah and sometimes you know i if my my kid is pretty much focused but i could be like i see butterflies or <laughs> also when you drop them off you don't know if the teacher is really giving your child that same focus it's not easy for the teacher because there's 25 other kids exactly. my sister-in-law is a teacher my i have so many educators in my in my family and sometimes i ask them questions you know right helpful and yeah there's a lot to handle and to make sure that there's no favoritism exactly you know, they do the very very best right you know, and sure everyone understands so now I'm seeing the rewards one very special reward is of course you get to be present as your child develops and grow every minute almost right because you're always there correct are you correct? seeing it yes exactly oh, exactly. oh my isn't it rewarding 
rewarding. It's rewarding. And um, even myself, I knew how, what capabilities my child, Lily, she's four, had before this. But now that she's, she's with me 24-7, I'm like, wow, yeah. you can do that? Or, oh, yeah. you need help with this, right? Because things Especially like that. when you spend time with your child, you, um, you make the time and you play with them. Play at that age. Play at that age. They're, when you play with them, they're very confident in... in having you as their as their playmate right right it opens them up there's no fear and then it builds confidence exactly and so just getting all these things it's very encouraging um, and maybe there may be some parents out there that might not go back to traditional school after this because you know you're getting a taste of it um, with, with the rewards I know it comes challenges how to schedule how to balance everything but in in your experience what would you tell parents right now who are watching if there's one message that you want to impart to them what is it first of all it, it's 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 different for certain ages right and and my experience was I would be at a park and I would overhear parents talking about oh my gosh my child can't read and she's already four years old and I'm like my she's only goodness. four <laughs> Right, no, right. Just be very patient with them. Mm -hmm. You know, there's already a lot of stress outside. The especially uh, during this time. Yeah, yes. exactly. And um, in terms of reward, I really like. I don't know of all people. I'm kind of all over the place. But when it comes to homeschooling, the curriculum that we picked, uh, there's a uh, there's a lesson plan. Uh, beginning of the school year, we get three boxes of all the schools and everything. All I need to do is just follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like mm -hmm. distance learning, but we're at our own pace. In fact, we have a choice if you want to finish for uh, in, within six months, nine months, or 12 months. Okay. We're doing 12 months only right. because we can do school anywhere, first of all. Right. Uh, uh, and I... You know, what are they going to do during summer? Play video games all day for the entire, like... Correct. Months, yes, you know, or yes. play outside, right? Mm -hmm. but there's a little bit of like, you know, let's take our time. Let's do math and science today and reading. You know, and, and it's really hard, especially when they're little and you force the child to do something and they're not... You know, yes, I see that with Lily. Yeah. Where I can tell pretty much when she's tired and when she doesn't want to do it, and when she doesn't want to do it, also a tip for parents, don't force them. I don't force my child when she right. doesn't want it because it's just a waste of time that right. will build resentment. They're supposed to love learning. So Joan, can you give us your top five uh, do's and don'ts for homeschooling parents out there? Practically every parent. <laughs> Let's start with the don'ts. Uh, don't rush. Mm -hmm. Reading, potty training, math, whatever it is. Uh, let it be a, uh, an environment of I love I love learning for them as opposed to you do school you use school as a punishment if you're not gonna behave I'm gonna let you do lessons right <laughs> I love that you know mm -hmm. um, exactly it, oh my gosh it requires a lot of patience number two do not compare your children with other children look at that child they yes. can read at three years old and yes. you're already five please don't don't do that please yes. don't because great example, my um, my brother-in-law, uh, my my um, uh, my in-laws are great at it though. They just let him be. Once he started speaking at three and a half, it was full-on sentence. Wow, he was just listening. Right, you know, exactly. You never know. Yeah, that's a great example. Also, never, if I may interject, never. It, it's bad enough that you're comparing. It's even worse when you let the child know. Oh, look at so-and-so. She's in already front doing... of your child. Exactly. Never, ever, ever no, do saying. that. Yeah. Right, right. Because yeah. some parents, and sometimes we mean well, but we forget. Right. These children, they have feelings. They understand. Especially when they start saying, why? Why can't I? Why can't I do this? Why right, I... right. No, exactly. I, we, my husband and I always make sure we learn this from other parents as well. Um, to not say, because I said so. Yes. You have to say, because you are a gift. To me and mm -hmm. I am given a gift I have to take care of it right. and you are my gift you know what I mean no matter how tired they exactly I like that and I don't, I, I was raised, I know we were raised in an era like that when the parents yeah. would say something and why do you, be, you can't even question why and when you do, they say because I said so like yeah, I never, it stops the communication. exactly and they learn, I, I always encourage my child to ask and to reason 
because at least I know what's going on in her head. Me too. Right, right. right? It yeah. worries me when, you know, when he's just submissive sometimes. It's like, okay, okay fine. Right. What you're, what, what's on your mind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and then the, another don't, number three? Number three, don't be too submissive. Don't be too weak. Yeah. It's so hard to say no sometimes. Right, because they will eventually get it, you right. know, that you're protecting them. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, always communicate with your child. I cannot emphasize this enough. There's no such thing as over-communicating. Why? Because I love you and I have to take good care of you. Number five, do not neglect your family prayer time. Mm. That is very important. Whatever belief you believe. I love that. Okay, yes. now we flip it to... We flip news. it? Yes, what do we do? It's like the opposite. Exactly. <laughs> so number one is prayer time as yes. a family. And learn together. Yes, yes. Uh, library, grocery stores. Not right now. Well, not right now. Not, not you right can now. all go to Amazon together. Right, what yes. What you need, what yes. you want for your snacks. Right, that right. That gives responsibility. Like, I think I want that for my snack. Basically be involved, right? Let them yeah. be involved, yeah. Three is learn when to be authoritative. When, oh, I'm, a, I'm your playmate, this is circle time, you know, um, when, know when to say that. And, and, and I'm sure like all the time, but at the same time, find a way to let them feel love. This is what I always call a stage manager, tough love. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, I'm calling all the actors, but they love you, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. parents, like, like, like that, tough love. And then uh, number four, stay open. Mm. Uh, now that I have an 11 year old, he's starting to ask me questions about what happened in the Philippines. Mm. Why are like when we go to Filipino gatherings, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, is, like, what, what is, forced to eat something I don't want to right, eat? Right, <laughs> right, like right. Yes, like that. And yes. I tell them, you know, you actually make them feel good because they had you in mind when they were preparing, you yes. For eating it. Right. You know, right. you made them feel special. Mm -hmm. And number five is we love to spend time together. My son now, um, we love to make him feel that like, you know, that he it that what he does at home matters to us. Mm -hmm. So his chores have been doing the dishwasher, you know, right. like the, the filling up the right dish in the dishwasher he throws the trash uh because it's like why do i have to do that because everything that you do matters and we have to contribute to our family exactly so he also does our tea time oh awesome so yeah. he heats the water prepares the tea together like for all our teas and oh how cute tea and we talk oh my gosh my child can talk right <laughs> right ever, like listening yeah. to yeah, exactly. Thought. And you know, that's what I noticed too. When you listen, like really active listening, not just uh huh, uh huh, like uh -huh. Um, it builds the child's confidence and they talk more. Right. And they want to share more. What's also involved in there is the, 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 the kindness when you say, I cannot talk right now, but I promise you tonight I'm all ears. Right. You know? And right. they're like, they never stop talking. Exactly. Well, Joan, thank you so much. I think this has been most helpful. Those really interested, you know, or, or, or are on the fence about homeschooling. Yeah. You can do it, moms. <laughs> you can do it. I'm still here. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for now. Stay safe. Yes, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you.